Good day. I am John Virgilio C. Cabildo, your student nurse for today from Our Lady Academy University, Quezon City. And today, I will be doing musculoskeletal assessment. The first thing that we have to do is we have to gather all the supplies based on the patient's status. And next, check the patient chart for information prior to assessment regarding mobility status, fall risk, and use of assistive devices. And just like everything else, we're gonna perform an hygiene, check the room for transmission-based precautions, introduce ourselves, our role, and the purpose of our visit, and an estimate of the time it will take. Check the patient identification using the two patient identifiers, or the name and the date of birth. Explain the process to the client and ask if they have any questions. Also, be organized and systematic. Use appropriate listening and questioning skills. Listen and attend to patient cues and ensure the patient's privacy and dignity by closing the curtains and lastly, assess the patient's ABCs. Good day sir, I am John Cabildo and I am your nurse for today and before we proceed, I would like to know your name and the date of your birth, sir. I know your name. I uh, will be doing musculoskeletal assessment today. But before we proceed, uh, I'm gonna ask some questions first for your health facility, okay? Okay, first, um, do you have any uh, muscle pain that you experience in any part of your body recently? Nothing. Okay. If the client experienced any pain in any part of his body, ask that if the pain affected the activities of daily living of the patient. Okay, sir. Next question. Um, are you into sports? No. Okay. Again, if the client is into sport, uh, ask the client if he or she uh, experienced or had any uh, uh, sport-related injury before. Perform inspection. Observe the patient using their arms, legs, gait, ability to sit and stand, and posture. Note symmetry and compare each side of the body. Next, inspect overall size, bony enlargement, and alignment of muscles and joints. Observe coordination and muscle function and note balance, limping, and presence of deformity. And now we're gonna ask the client to stand. And I'm gonna observe and assess for the parts of your body if it's symmetrical, okay? Inspection, your neck is at the line, your extremities, lower and upper extremities are both symmetrical. Can you please turn around? Okay, sir, and now you can see. Okay, and next, I'm gonna measure the symmetrical parts of the body of the patient. Okay, sir. Okay, let's start with your arms. Gross motor and balance test. First, we're gonna assess the client's walking gait. Ask the client to walk across the room and back and assess for the client's walking gait. Serve it po kayo tumayo at tumakat punta doon papalik. Next, the Romberg's test. Ask the client to stand with feet together, with arms resting at the sides, first with eyes open, then close. Okay, sir, can you please stand up? And your feet together, and arms resting on the side, first with your eyes open. Next, 
legs, stand on one foot with eyes closed. Ask the client to stand on one foot with eyes closed and the other. Stand closely to the client while doing this test. Okay, sir, can you please stand? Stand on one foot while your eyes was closed. Okay. After a while, ask the client to stand on another foot, still with eyes closed. Okay, so you can now stand on another foot. Rapidly touch nose alternately with one index finger and then the other. Have the client repeat the test with eyes closed if the test is performed easily. Thank you very much. And last, 
fingers to thumb. Ask the client to touch each fingers of one hand to the thumb of the same hand as rapidly as possible. Fine mover test for the lower extremities. Ask the client to lie supine and perform these tests. Heel down opposite sheen. Ask the client to place the heel of one foot just below the opposite knee and run the heel down the sheen to foot. Repeat with the other foot. The client may also use a sitting position for this test. To the nurse's finger. Ask the client to touch your finger with a large toe of each foot. And next, palpate and assess range of motion and muscle strength. Gently palpate the bones, joints, muscles, and surrounding tissues for heat swelling, stiffness, tenderness, and crepitation. Ask the patient to move major joints such as the knees, shoulders, hips, and ankles through the expected range of motion. Observe the quality and equality of motion bilaterally with the same body parts and note any limitation such as pain or crepitus with movement and use passive range of motion if indicated and appropriate.
symptoms. After anything and after all the procedures, you have to perform hand hygiene and document the assessment findings and report any concerns according to agency policy. And that's it! That was my video on how to do musculoskeletal assessment. Again, I am John Virgilio Sicabildo, your student nurse from Our Lady Academy University, Quezon City. Good day!